Don't move. Okay, and JT, look. Wait a minute, I want to get another one. I join up with a pair of old friends from New York City. Two twenty, so it's got to be no two twenty, so it has to be. I mean, they can't change. Our first stop together is Rosedale. Their oldest son Billy came here as a freedom rider in 1964. I never met Billy, but I know he died young. The Kochiyamas are here to visit the Davises. The family Billy stayed with that freedom Billy's summer. Father. And you Billy's father? That's right. Hi. I was trying to think how many people were staying here during the time Billy was here. I believe it was about 20. They were all staying right here? They all yeah. stayed right here. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> Up here, right up from the bank, it was a restaurant. And blacks weren't allowed in there at all. And Billy and them used to go up there and sit down every day in front of the restaurant. Every day, they never did fail. Well, they kept on, they got to fighting up there. Black people started going in the restaurant. And I guess that's about the biggest major thing at that particular time, because everybody thought it was very impossible to get them to let black people in there. This visit to Mississippi is like a homecoming in more ways than one. Bill and Yuri's romance began right here at Camp Shelby in the middle of World War II. Tell me when you first met. Oh, but he doesn't even remember, do oh, you? Oh, yeah. You never remember that date. Right. When was the date? November something. Yeah. But you don't remember the date? 43 or 42. No, but 42 the date. Or... November of what? I don't know. <laughs> 20th. Well, I first met her November 20th, 1943, and when a busload of... Uh, visiting GIs <clears throat> uh, were, uh, were given a pass to spend a weekend at the concentration camp known as Jerome, Arkansas. We arrived at camp around 2 in the morning, and uh, she was the only one there greeting us. And it was her customs uh, to get their names, and she would say, well, what island are you from? And so when uh, she asked me, you know, uh, I was being a smart ass, I says, I come from Manhattan Island. Of course, he was very good looking and quite dashing. And I guess the fact that he was from New York made him seem like, you know, a very sharp kind of guy, always giving, as he says, smart ass remark. But you know how women think that's sort of clever or something. Bill and Yuri's love affair always struck me as something right out of a Hollywood screenplay. Bill was a young GI with the all-Japanese-American 442 Battalion. But there was one glitch in this love story. While Bill was fighting the Nazis overseas, Yuri was a prisoner in Arkansas at a concentration camp for Japanese-Americans. Here in the land of Buffalo Bill, the government is erecting model camp towns towns in which they'll live unmolested, not as prisoners, but free to work and paid by the United States government. Bathtubs, yes, all the comforts of home. The Japanese in America are finding Uncle Sam a loyal master despite the war. Wait a minute, yeah, that's all that's left, maybe? Where was the camp? Wait a minute. What's all that empty space? Is that the camp? I've taken a bulldozer and buried this thing. And <laughs> buried what thing? Uh, the camp. Oh, you did it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. you you bulldozed the whole camp? Uh, yes, buried. Buried The it. buried city. Uh -huh. See, this was blocks. You remember where well, I was streets, you know. This, yeah, yeah, It was yeah. 10,000 of y'all here. Right. Now, look at here. Y'all weren't prisoners of war. Well, we were so. You was interned for your protection, well, they claim, you know. Protection. When we came, I came in no, with. We considered us ourselves prisoners of war. But wait a minute, wait. What I want to know I is. I thought they had an injustice done to them. Oh, Of course, I fell in love with them. I mean, I was here with them every day. And really? You knew the Japanese people? Sure. I was well, in here I'll, with them. Wait, can uh, I get a shot of you? Put your head out more because I can't see your face. Goodbye. Unless you could open the door. What's his name again? John, John Ernest. John. John, John. 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 John.
I wouldn't have one. How did the people around Jerome feel about the Japanese coming here? Well, all those people that was here is dead and gone. You, 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 we talked about 40-something years ago, yeah, girl. Right, and these young folks don't even know what it's all about. Oh. But how did they feel? Well, they all they felt like me. They felt like they were mistreated. When you was around them and with them, they, look at here, when the water department comes and is bringing uh, those messages in here of the dead, they cried just like the white people. They lost a million son and husband. By the end of the war, we thought uh, we were becoming expendable. Well, what do you mean by that? That uh, we were always the point of an attack. And being at the point of a big army or a division attack, you know, you, you're always vulnerable on both sides and in the front. And so we took the brunt, uh, many times, the brunt of the casualties. But they said that they always put uh, the best troops to lead the way, you know. Yuri knows that uh, she knew personally these young newlyweds, and the husband would go overseas on the uh, first day of combat, or then within one month, they're dead. So uh, there were a lot of young widows. And that's, that's why we're... I wasn't trying to weasel out of a marriage, but, uh, but uh, that was a terrific consideration. Bill and Yuri traveled a long road after the war. They moved to Harlem to raise their six children. They spent 50 years there fighting for justice, and not only for Asian Americans. And now the road has brought us here to the grave of James Cheney, the young civil rights worker murdered by the Klan in 1964. You and your two comrades, Goodman and Schwerner, are part of a history that can never be erased. Others have followed after you, and always the struggle for a better, safer, and equitable world will continue. Today, on May 26, four days before your 48th birthday, we are here to remember you and be inspired by your life. Bill and Yuri introduced a generation of Asians to Malcolm X. They've lived history. <laughs> <laughs> 